Members of the Kenyan Senate have this morning been engaged in an intense debate ahead of the tabling of the committee report on the electoral laws amendment that have divided Kenyans right down to the middle. Let's listen into a bit of that debate. Um, the speaker, there is the voting, and this is important for Kenyans to appreciate that we are voting manually, Mr. Speaker, that Mr. Speaker, we are results are announced manual, Mr. Speaker. It's only the question of transmission of results that has been provided for by this bill. And Mr. Speaker, as a committee, my recommendation, Mr. Speaker, as a Senate of this House, is that the regulations that are going to ensue in Article 109 will now be able to capture all the proceedings, Mr. Speaker, that we have discussed here as to when do you resort to the complementary system, Mr. Speaker, that you are going to apply. So, Mr. Speaker, having sat and listened to Kenyans both on TV, in the committee, and in many other fora. I have realized, Mr. Speaker, that it was necessary for us to commit this issue to a committee of parliament so that the myths are debunked, the lies are exposed, and the truth will only remain for us to make a decision today. And I stand in this house to celebrate democracy, knowing that, Mr. Speaker, at the end of this... All right, let's now link up with our senior parliamentary reporter, Patrick Amimo, for more details. A very good afternoon to you, Patrick. Thank you for joining us. Given the scenes we've seen at the Senate this morning, what are some of the uh, expectations we have for the afternoon? Uh, thank you, Akisa. Indeed, uh, these uh, senators now, this is the second time that they are, up, are coming to uh, to discuss this particular election law under the special under special seating arrangement. And today it was split into two sittings where we had the morning session and the afternoon session. The afternoon session is set to start at 2.30 p.m. until... Uh, the close of business uh, on, the order, on the order paper, which will be to vote either to reject or adopt these uh, contentious election laws. And uh, and before in the morning there was um, the Senate's uh, Legal Affairs and Human Rights Committee was still compiling its report. So members could not start debating it as it were uh, at 10 when they convened for the morning session. Uh, this allowed the Speaker to uh, at, at least uh, decide to move uh, uh, the, the laws, the bill that was before the National Assembly as it were for the second reading as they await the report from uh, uh, Honorable uh, Senator Amos Wako to table it in the House. Uh, that's the only time that now members will be able to uh, look at it uh, in a very candid manner and decide whether uh, their recommendations or proposals uh, can carry the day or not, because they can either decide to adopt the report as it were or reject it. But prior to that, we saw members engage in a very heated di uh, discussion as they were discussing the election laws with uh, at least some section of the opposition claiming that uh, it's like uh, we saw Senator Ongoro say that uh, uh, the, the government was keen to rig elections uh, through uh, the adoption of a manual, a manual system. That's an area that is really contested, and we expect to see how maybe the House will debate it once uh, Amos Wako tables this report in the House, and we see what they have to say about that contentious area of a complementary system. Akisa? All right, Patrick, I don't know whether you've been able to speak to some members of that particular committee. Have they confirmed that they will be ready by 2.30 when the second session or the afternoon session begins? Indeed, uh, the, the, uh, we, we suspect that they've been in communication with the speaker because the speaker gave them about an hour or two to compile their report and make it ready. And already I've, I've, been, able to, I've been able to see some of the members of that committee uh, come to participate on the floor of the House, which means probably that uh, the, the report was ready and probably what is just uh, being done is to, uh, to produce uh, copies for the members because uh, we have 67 senators and each has to have a copy of the report to read it and see uh, so that when, when they come in the afternoon session at 2.30 thereabouts, uh, they can be uh, discussing that document from a point of information and not uh, as a tabula rasa because they'll now have a document which uh, the speaker or we expect that, that uh, they'll go through the report over lunchtime as they eat their food. Uh, also, they'll also be also digesting the contents uh, from that particular report so that uh, the afternoon session, the debate is informed uh, by what uh, the, the Emos Wako Committee came to. Remember, Wako Committee was as a result of stakeholders' involvement. 
and various stakeholders came on board and we saw them give uh, very, very, very rich proposals or recommendations on, on the way forward on some of those contested clauses in the law. So we expect uh, to see uh, that put on the table because the Senate rose above the National Assembly and they said they want to allow the public to participate in the election, in the lawmaking process of the country as per the Constitution. Akisa. Thank you very much, Patrick, for that. That's our senior parliamentary reporter, Patrick Amimo, who definitely will be keeping you up to date with the happening in the Senate, even as we expect the tabling of the report by the Senate's Legal Affairs Committee and Human Rights in the afternoon session that begins at 2.30 p.m.